you taking me? You despise everything. It'll be a surprise. I hate surprises too. Look, come on, you sissy, we're almost there. It's right up this way. We are here. This is why we came here, all the way from London. Shut up and start helping me with the fucking tent. You only brought one. Look, you'll survive a couple of nights under one roof with your brother. Plus, it's been a while since we've had some time together, you know? Just the two of us, the old band back together. When exactly are we going back down? Never if you don't start helping me with the tent. Good morning, sunshine. Coffee? No, I don't drink coffee. I think you'll need it. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> Are you insane? Why would you wake me up this early? Because I want to show you the sunrise. The view will be spectacular. I'm ready to rip your head off. Still no coffee? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Drink way too much of that stuff. <sighs> you at least have some milk. Of course I have milk. Oat milk. Oh, gee, yuck. Why would you drink that? Because it's better for your health and the environment. You drive an SUV. Hey, I didn't say it was perfect, right? Sure sounds like it. This is why you had to wake me up at 5 a.m. Fantastic, man. Really fucking fantastic. I mean, look at this. In my entire life, I have never seen rain. What a waste of time. I can't fucking control the weather, can I? It'll clear up soon, you'll see. What are you doing? Baking a cake. What's it look like I'm doing? Collecting wood for a fire. Oh, no, but please, just, you know, relax. Don't help me, why should you? Why are you torturing me? Because I, I don't want you to feel sad all the time. I am depressed. There's a big difference. You've accomplished so much. You've, you've achieved so much in your life. I just, I don't understand. I know you don't. That's why I don't talk about it. But I can't help you if you don't. I agreed to come with you. I didn't agree to have you lecture me. I am alone in this. Look, man, that's not fair, okay? I'm trying my best here. We were scared to death when we found you. You refused to see a doctor, so I'm keeping an eye on you until you realize that you need professional help. I read about this disease. It's an epidemic. It's not you, all right? It's the whole environment we're all living in today. I never actually wanted to die.
coming? Are you done yet? You know I can't go when you're watching. Tom, there's not much to see. Ha, ha. Just turn around, will you? What was that? I think I saw a bear. What? You know what? Just forget it. I think I saw a bear. Come on, you bloody idiot. Looks like you need some help. I'm really not in the mood to talk to a stranger. Come on, be nice. Servus. Hi there. My name's Tom, this is Noah. Oh, I'm Klaus. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? We're British. And you? Oh, I'm from Germany. Really? Would have never guessed. <laughs> Where are you headed? To a lake in the middle of the mountains. I was supposed to go to a mountain hut, but I broke my phone last night. Hey, okay, I know. It's my fault. I should have brought a map. Don't worry. We can show you the way. Plus, Spending one night in a warm place on an actual roof might be nice, don't you think? If that means not having to snuggle up to you for one night, I'm in. We'll come with you. This way, let's go. Cheers. Nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet you. Lasst euch schmecken, Jungs. Und wenn ihr Nachschub braucht, meldet ihr euch, ne? Ah, danke. Sehr gut. Guten Appetit. What did she say? Stop fucking flirting, man. And let's eat. This looks delicious. And I'm, I'm hungry. I'm not flirting. I, I want to know what she said. You'll always fall in asleep late in the night when I think you're listening to me. I've told you when you be sad me. Prost. Ah. Why do you look so sad? Oh, this is my happy face. I haven't felt like this in months. What happened? <laughs> Marriage problems. Any kids? No, not yet. Why? <sighs> because I'm scared to mess them up. <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you'll be a great dad. No, it's complicated. I have a daughter. She's 10. Her dad's not around much. Do you think you... Be there for them, love them, and do the best you can. Yes, of course. And you'd be perfect for the job. <laughs> Back in a second. Seems like someone had a pretty good time at the bar last night. She's a lovely girl. We talked a bit. Ooh, talked, huh? In what language? My German is not that bad. All right. Well, at least you didn't oversleep, because we had a big day today. Guys, I want to come to the lake with you. I'd love to see it, if you don't mind. No, of course not. Sure. Isn't the world a lovely place, just breathtaking? And sometimes we just get trapped in our daily routine and don't realize how lucky we are to be alive. You told him. Look, he saw your bandages when you were changing clothes last night. He asked, what was that? This is personal. <laughs> we barely know the guy. How could you? He didn't do anything wrong. It's not his fault. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This was me a couple of years ago. I know exactly how Listen, you- Listen, man, you know nothing. And I'm not going to discuss this with a total stranger in the middle of fucking nowhere. No, please. 
Shut up! Shut up! Get the fuck out of here. Tara's gonna leave you! She told me she can't fucking take it anymore. And she knows that if you don't finish this journey, that you'll never change. Like I have a choice! You do. Right. Now. Finish this with me. And I promise I'll get off your back. You promise after this, you leave me the fuck alone. I promise. It's like floating in deep, pitch black water. There's an enormous, invisible wave resting on your chest. You cannot move. The alarm goes off again. Let's go. You have no right to feel this way. You're living a life without real problems. No wars, no poverty, no hunger. Stop whining. This can't be normal. You are not normal. No! No! Oh fuck, he's gone. Calm down. We'll find him. No. I don't know what he'll do. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm really trying to understand, man. I, I can't, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I, I'm, I'm fucking losing it, man. Look at me, Tom. Look at me. It's not your fault. Can you hear me? It's not your fault. So why didn't I speak up? Well, because you're not supposed to talk about mental problems. It's something I learned very early on. I never wanted to be the weak one. I wanted to be strong and stable, just like everybody else. I thought, if I just tried hard enough, everything would get better. No matter how hard I tried, the stain never came. I never wanted to die. I just wanted this feeling to stop. through this. You're not alone, Noah. I've done this before. I'll jump with you. Three.
blood bleeding Melt the heart Garden to toe